Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. And can we also thank all for our social media audience? Amen. Those watching on Facebook and YouTube. Amen. We thank God for you and your support. Amen. Uh, so we I finally got a date that I would like us to do this. Amen. Amen. So uh, the last Sunday of this month. Amen. Somebody said the last Sunday. Amen. So that Sunday will be the 26th. Amen. I want us to come in here. I want us to look like straight up Wakanda. All right. Amen. Amen. So this Sunday, no, excuse me, last Sunday, the 26th, amen, that's the Sunday, and we just going to have some fun, amen, we're going to have some fun in the, in the Lord, amen, so bring your dashikis, and amen, 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 go ahead and bring all that, amen, I know it's in the back of your closet somewhere, amen, amen, and we're going to have a good old time in the Lord, amen, we're going to have some old school church that day, amen. I, amen. This is kind of an idea of what you can look for. Amen. I believe they got some pieces out there at home. What's the name of that? City Trans. Thank you. Amen. And roses. Amen. amen. Now, if you're going to buy something off of Amazon, see, this is why I'm selling y'all this early. Because if you're going to get some off of Amazon, nine times out of ten, you might have to wait a little bit longer. Depending on what, you, what you're looking for. Amen. 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 And then, uh, now, I believe the 12th is next Sunday. What's today's date? Uh, fifth. The 5th. So, so that would be next Sunday. Uh, I want us, if we can, if we can, to wear some red next Sunday. Okay. Amen. For Love Day. Amen. That's what, uh, that's what we're, that, and that came to my spirit to do that. So if you can remember to do that, if you can't, then it's all good. But Amen. let's wear some red. Even if we can find maybe some red pins or something. For everybody to have, amen. Because here it is. Now, they may celebrate Valentine's Day for one thing, but here's what I want to celebrate. I just need two people to talk to me here. The Bible says, if I be lifted up, amen. I don't draw, amen, all men unto me. Amen. Bible also says like this. He says, for God so loved the world amen. that he did what? He gave his only begotten son, amen. that whosoever Believe in him, shall not perish, but have what? Everlasting life. Amen. Amen. And so we want to thank God. Now, I got to be careful when I say this next part because we might dance here. But the thing is, is that next Sunday, I want us to thank God for the blood. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Look at your neighbor. Try not to start no trouble. But just tell your neighbor, I thank God for the blood. If nobody else does. Amen. Hallelujah. I thank God. Hallelujah. I thank God for the blood. The blood. Hallelujah. It reaches the highest mountain. Hallelujah. It flows to him. I know what's here. Flows to the lowest valley. Amen. The blood that gives me strength. Hallelujah. From day to day. And tell your neighbor, say, it'll never lose. I'm telling you, I feel church on me already. Tell your neighbor that it'll never It'll never lose its power. Hallelujah. Amen. I, I ain't coming here to all that. I'm, I'm purposely trying to get in trouble. Amen. Monday, Tuesday, and Friday mornings, those that are awake at that time. Amen. Somebody say 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Amen. So those that are awake and those of you who are here in person uh, who did receive a um, program, thank you, uh, that information of these services and whatnot is in your program. But those of you who are up at that time, right before you go to work or whatever have you, you can join us for 15 minutes of prayer. Amen. Amen. Even if it means you put yourself on mute while you're brushing your teeth. Amen. Hallelujah. You might be doing your hair. Amen. And you can have prayer going on in the background. Amen. And if you happen to sneak in, you can also say, well, hey, I have a prayer request right before we get off of whatever have you. Amen. I got a prayer request. Amen. There's something about getting up in the morning to pray. Amen. Amen. There's something about getting up and laying before the Lord. Cole Pastor was just talking about that before we went live. Yeah. Amen. There's something about just laying prostrate before the Lord. Yeah. Amen. You don't have to say a word, but just let him speak to you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Amen. Donald McClurkin came up with a song like this. Speak to my heart, Lord. Yeah. Amen. Holy Spirit. Oh, Amen. Send me your word. Yeah. Amen. Let it bring new life. Hallelujah. 
together. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And then even if you say, oh, well, well, I'm at work during that time, but I get a break around noon. Well, guess what? Amen. You can come on by. You ain't got to stay for the entirety of the time. But if you happen to be on break or right before you go in, those that work second or third, amen, you can come in if you are able to. Amen. Come in for noonday prayer. Amen. You ain't got to stay the whole hour. Amen. Amen. Even if you come in for a few moments right before you go to work. Amen. amen. Come on in. It's every day from Monday, Monday through Friday. Yeah. Saturday. Saturday? Monday through Friday. Amen. Y'all, I'm sorry. Monday through Friday. Amen. Uh, at 12 noon, because usually we have service going on here Saturdays. Amen. And then this Wednesday, amen, we'll be continuing our series. Amen. On uh, Back to Eden. Somebody say Back to Eden. Back to Eden. Amen. So I am excited about even Bible study this week. Amen. I had a chance to talk to Pastor Michelle about some things uh, concerning Bible study, some things that I would like to readdress. Amen. And so there are some points, those of you who are able to either be here in person or watch online. Amen. There are There is some really good information that I would love to give out on this Wednesday. All right. Amen. Amen. Thank Amen. You. And so those who can come or watch online or watch replay or whatever you have to do, I do encourage you. It is very important that you catch these Bible studies. Yeah. Amen. 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 Because you tell your neighbor, you tell your neighbor, you need the whole meal. You need the whole amen. Meal. Amen. Amen. Sunday is not enough. Yes. Amen. Amen. This is why even when you go to a hospital, amen, they tell you to uh, don't just take the medicine, but take all of it. Yes. Amen. There's a reason why they tell you to take all of it. Amen. amen. Now, y'all know how I feel about medicine. We ain't going to get into that. But there's a reason why they tell you to take all of it. Amen. Okay, let, all right, let me actually let me use another reference. Amen. In communion, they say you what? Take ye all of it. Yeah. Amen. I, I like that better, so I don't use that better. Scratch the hospital analogy. Amen. When you take communion, take ye, eat ye all of it. Amen. Eat ye all of it. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Don't just eat some of it. Amen. Oh, it got quiet there. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Eat all of it. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. The Bible says it like this. A uh, 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 man shall not live by what? Bread right alone, but by every word, every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Amen. Amen. And then this Friday, though, no, uh, yeah, next one. There we go. Amen. Next Friday, uh, this Friday, those of you who are available to come out, amen, we're going to have ourselves some church all right. this Friday. Those that can come, if you can, then God bless you. It's all good. Amen. But those who can watch online, amen, come on out. Amen. If you're not busy this Friday, amen. I believe that there is a word from the Lord. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Jesus. And then this Saturday, we will be here. Amen. So we'll be here this Saturday for our Sabbath service. Amen. At 12 noon. Amen. amen. And this is more of like a fellowship kind of thing. So yeah. this is why those of you who are watching online, you may be wondering why. Well, they will never go live for, the, for those Saturday services. Amen. But well, these services are more of an intimate thing. Amen. 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 So this is the time to where uh, you can have the chance to not just enjoy God, but you have the chance to sit down and talk with your leaders one on one. Amen. Amen. To talk with your pastors and one another one on one. Yeah. Amen. This is the time of fellowship. Yeah. Amen. So this is what those Saturdays are really dedicated towards. It's a time of fellowship. Yeah. Amen. And so uh, uh, those that are able to come on those Saturdays. Amen. You can come on out and enjoy Jesus along with us. Yeah. Amen. And then the be the Lord's will we'll be right back here Sunday uh, at 1030 a.m. for prayer, 11 for uh, Bible Sunday school, and then 12 for service. Amen. 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 Yeah. Uh, so, amen. Yeah. With no further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into our opening scripture. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And let's go ahead and thank God for Sister Janine. Amen. amen. Come on on up. Amen. That is right. Okay. Amen. Amen. Sister Janine. Amen. Come on. Can y'all give her a thunderous round of applause? Amen. 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 Thank 
shall continue, continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him, and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him, and delivered them. O oh, taste and see the Lord is God, and blessed is the man that trusted in him. O oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. The young lions do lack, and some suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Come ye, you children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is he that desireth life and loveth many days, that he may seek up good? Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking God. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth, and delivereth them out of all their troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth them out of all of them. He keepeth all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. I have everything.
Apostle of the Christ. Now, Mel Gibson, that movie was very gruesome. So those of you who have seen that movie, I need you to have a flashback of that movie. So many people I've talked to about that movie, they said that they've only been able to stomach to watch it once. But how many know that what I believe is that even what they showed in that movie, it was not as gruesome as the actual reality of the crucifixion. That crucifixion was one of the most, if not the most gruesome crucifixion. See, in our day and time, when they want to take somebody out by death, they give them like a lethal injection or whatever have you, or they electrocute them. But when they wanted to kill somebody for a very heinous crime, they would crucify them. So crucifying somebody was a regular practice of how to deal with people. But from what I have watched and seen, from what I've heard, that our Savior's crucifixion was what they call unusual treatment. It was very unusual treatment that they gave him. They beat him more than what he really needed to be. Oh, I hope y'all catch the truth of what I'm saying. Huh? He took the strength that me and you and that you and I should have taken. So I, for the next few moments, we gotta go. Huh? But for the next few moments, I want us to sing about the crucifixion. Huh? And I want you to help me sing this next part. I want you to tell God, say thank you for dying. 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 You did it for me. You did it for me. Say thank you for dying. 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 Yeah. 
died so that you could have a story. That's now. I want you to let that die just. I got to let you go. I want you to let that die just in your spirit. He died so you could have a story. That's now. Those 
words and those are nuggets, those are showers of life. Amen. Amen. As those words in different um, scriptures will speak to you in whatever situations that we're in right now. Go back and reflect. That's your meditation for the week. Amen. Meditate on that word. Amen. Amen. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. Amen. Wait, may we be in a sound mind today. Amen. We're going to hear um, from our senior pastors, and then we're going to prepare for the word of the Lord. Amen. If they have a song or um, encouragement, amen. Amen. Can we give them a big God bless your hand, sir? Amen. I just thank God for his goodness and thank God for his mercy. Thank God I made another day. All right. 83. Amen. 83. Amen. 2,200. Okay. 83. <laughs> and I'm 83. Amen. Amen. <laughs> it's 1980. Uh, 23. And now I'm 83. Amen. <laughs> Ain't nobody did it but God. I, I just don't know what it's like. I got all kind of, I get a lot of calls from people. Amen. I tell you, I'm really, really thankful. Long way, long all, apples and all. Amen. They're thanking me. Thank me for my dedicated to the people to the world, how God been keeping me. And I know, I, I know, I said, well, I ain't did nothing. Ain't nobody did but God. Amen. So I just, I just thank God for his goodness. Well, and mercy and love and kindness. I thank God for most of you and you. Amen. Cause it wouldn't be a me a bit better. Right here, it wouldn't be you. Amen. And I thank God for you. Coming in and bring people into the house of God. And you should know the truth, the truth is that you preach. And I thank God for my wife. Amen. Without me, it wouldn't be no heart. My heart would be no me. Amen. And so I thank God for her. Because I could have been stuck in the woods somewhere. That's right. Amen. But she stood by me. All right. Keep me, keep her going. Amen. Take all my downfalls, put them in the pain and woke up and go <laughs> my own business. Amen. So I thank God for her. Amen. Amen. It's a man find a good wife, find a good thing. I'm sorry, but I found a gold to it. Right, it is a gold to it. Oh, Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank God for it. Somebody needs 
need somebody. So praise the Lord. We thank God. Amen. For we help us to be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Put the whole, whole arm of God on. I know this corona and stuff is scaring people. Praise the Lord. There's so much imbalance out here. Yes, and yes. It's just put the fear of God's people. You know what? We don't yes. know what, praise the Lord. We don't know what's going to take us out of here. Amen. So let's be ready. Amen. Let's be ready. God, what did you do with the with this Holy Spirit that I filled you up with? Yes. What did you do? Did you tell somebody? God, did you tell somebody about me? Yes. You see what I'm saying? You got everything we do written down. He yes. said, every deed, we got the answer to at the judgment seat of Christ. Yes.
amen, as he dealt with me, um, you know, just kind of encouraged me. I want to give you what he gave me to encourage you. Amen. Amen. So John 16, 33 is where we will start at. And that's where I'll take my topic at, peace in Christ. Amen. Peace in Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. John 16 and 33. And I believe that Prophet Jonathan has it on the screen for you. Our topic is peace in Christ. Because I, when I read it, it didn't make me shout. 
It says, in the world, ye shall, bona fide, will, ye shall have tribulation. Yeah. Oh my God. But be of good cheer. Oh, it's talking about our Sunday school lesson. <laughs> that you have joy in diverse situations and diverse temptations. But here's the thing, he's already warned us in the B clause, the second part of oh, the like, He says, in the world ye shall have tribulation, mm -hmm. but be of good cheer. Yeah. Why? I have overcome the world. Mm -hmm. But here's some things, you can only have it in me. Amen. He's already preparing us that you will have tribulation. You shall have tribulation. Jesus, Jesus. But listen to the first part again, because I only have a few verses. The first part says, these things I've spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. There is, no, no, you're doing good. You might have peace. Yeah. If you want it, yeah. you might have peace. But there is a stipulation yeah. to having that peace. Yeah. Because I'm telling you this. Woo! I was talking with Joseph Obama's, uh last night about some business. He was like, what's wrong? You know, da -da -da -da. I'm well, you know, and this, and I got to do this, and yeah. oh, I'm not sure how to make that happen, and oh, this and that. Lord said, so you've chosen not to have peace. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. But don't you see yeah. this, and how, and look at how big, yeah. and he said, yeah. Michelle, you might have peace. All right. What you mean, I might, if you choose it. He said, anytime you want to not take that peace pill, you don't have to. You have a choice in the matter. He said, but no matter whether you choose to take that peace pill or not, we talked about it. Let me explain it again because we was on, we wasn't on live then because I don't want the people to not know what we're talking about. We talked about in Sunday school that diet pill called Ally. And the one thing about it, it does good when you follow the directions. Yes. But if you don't, it will make you mess all over your clothes. That's right. That's right. Amen. Yes. Because it won't take the wrong stuff when you have this pill in your system. Yes. So when we take on peace, Woo. God has given us choice. Yes. Amen. You can either choose peace yes. or you can choose your way. That's right. And when you yeah. get done, he's going to be sitting there, well, you ready to take up? Take it. 
Take that peace pill. I got you. Amen. He ready for that. He ready for us to take it. Amen. All right, let's go to the rest of the part. I want to read that out of my translation. Amen. And then we're going to move to my next three verses and we'll be done. Again, the topic is peace in Christ. Amen. Peace in in Christ. Christ. No matter what, there's a peace pill. We got to call it peace pill because that's the only way I can see it. <laughs> you can pill. take that peace pill when you want to. But here's the thing. It's just like taking um, that peace pill will make you look crazy in front of people. Yes. <laughs> Come on now. Because you got peace. And they're like, <laughs> but you don't see. Girl, you ain't see. Look, my sister will tell you, sometimes she got to come to me and be like, so you do know they're talking about you, right? <laughs> you do know you that know. was all about you, you know. right? Good. 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 That was you. I'm sitting there just chilling and just like, so, let me holler at you. You do know that was, they was trying to set you up, right? It be my sister on the outside, my brother on the outside got to tell me, so why are you still being nice to them? Don't you see what they do? <laughs> see, peace will make you look stupid. Let's just be real about it. Peace will make you look stupid. Because it's like, why are you helping your enemy? Don't you see? Don't you see what they just said? You know all that was what they said about you. That, that wasn't Becky down the street with the good hair. She was talking about you. And you mean to tell me you still going to be nice to her? You still going to? Do you know? Why you being nice to her? That don't make no sense. See, this peace walk going to make us look crazy. That's right. The Lord said, do that. Go further. Okay, I'm going to go further. I think about when I lost the first 60 pounds. I would go out, you know, with my friends and eat. But I had to be disciplined about certain things. Right. Why? Because they may, have not, they may have already had it together. But there's a goal I was trying to get to. So when I went out and I ate uh, with everybody else, I had to eat the salad first. And then I had a portion control. See, why? Because I'm on a disciplined race. Mm-hmm. There's some things I'm working towards. So I couldn't do everything everybody else could do. It made me look crazy. All right. And so they're like, why are you eating that small amount? But here's what began to happen. Over time, while I was doing my um, lifestyle control, my stomach got smaller. All right. Now. And what I thought I needed 10 Ten biscuits. I thought I need a whole plate of mac and cheese. Right. Once I began to be disciplined over time, I found that I didn't need as much as I thought I needed. Yeah. So I say again, peace going to make you look different. Yeah. 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 Peace going to make you look crazy. Yeah. People wonder, why are you not losing your mind? Did you hear them say they're going to lay us off? Jesus, Jesus. I know my sister had a peace walk because I'm like, you did what? Oh, yeah, I wrote the letter. I'm quick with you. I'm sorry, say what? You did what? You done wrote all the way. You can't go back now. Okay, we're going to pray for you. Okay, God, go bring it through. But you got some that's on that faith walk in different levels. Then she's on a different level of faith than I was. I'm like, huh? You did what? God, going to pray it through. Okay. Okay, I'm going to pray with you. Yeah, God, bring it through for our Lord. Bring it through. But I'm going to tell you something. When your back gets against, get against the wall and tribulation hit, it'll make that faith come out. You don't yeah. think you got faith. You don't think you got faith to all you got to lean on is faith. You think you can get a prayer through? Everybody in here can get a prayer through. You can, you can travail. You can fast. You can pray. From the baby to the pulpit, everybody in here has the ability. The right tribulation just ain't hit your house yet. Hallelujah. But when the right tribulation hit, yeah. I think about Hannah, and Hannah was in the temple, and she was praying. And the way Hannah was travailing, because she believed God for that baby. I want this breakthrough. Everybody picking at me, they ain't going to pick at me no more. Yeah. Hannah was in the in the temple, she was praying. And she was praying, and she was going before God. So to where the priest said, Eli said, you drunk? You in this temple drunk? No, I ain't drunk. I'm praying. She didn't mind looking stupid. All right. In front of the eyes of people because I got a breakthrough. I need a breakthrough. I need to get through this. I'm tired of going through this. And God going to hear my prayer. I ain't going to move from this spot until God answer. Hallelujah. Give me peace. She began to pray. And the man of God said, it be unto you so as you say it. Next year about this time, you will have that baby. <laughs> and so this is why in this season I'm not checking you You ought to do this You ought to do that Uh-uh I'm going to pray for you We got this We're going to do this together I'm going to pray for you I got your back Because there's a certain tribulation That has hit my house That may have not hit your house yet So guess what I need you to pray for me I'm in the fire right now I need your prayer When you're in the fire If I'm doing what I'm supposed to do When I'm in the joy, joy, joy street 
and everything going good. I ought to be building myself up in my hope most yeah. holy faith. I ought to be building myself up in prayer. I ought to be ready because you're going to need me to pray for you and encourage you and say, oh, you can make it. No, you're coming out of this. In yeah. Jesus' name, God did for me. You was praying for me. Now I'm praying for you. We're going to make it together. You shall have tribulation. But be of good cheer because I have overcome the world. You don't fear nothing in this world. But we got to, as people of God, we got to get to our level of peace. Come on. I don't care what's going on. Take the house tomorrow. Walk through, pink slip, whatever. You be looking like, okay, God. I'm leaning and depending on you. You already got this. Be like, Joe, God gave us examples in the Bible. He gave us lives of testimonies in the Bible. Joe lost everything he had. But what did he do? The first thing he did was worship. He stripped his clothes off and worshiped. Naked I came into the world and naked shall I return. But blessed be the name of the Lord. In all things, Joe sinned not. God has prepared us through his word for tribulation. Yeah. Amen. We don't know what that tribulation going to look like. We don't know what we're going to have to go through. But he says, be of good cheer because I have overcome the world. Come on, man. I won't let you go through nothing that I can't handle. Yeah. But there's a choice. You've got to take this peace pill. Jesus. You've got to take it every day. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. My next three verses, and then we're ready to close out. Romans 6 and 11. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, God. Peace in Christ. And I, you know, one thing about it is when we're trying to get a goal, we consume ourselves with that thing. Every day, every night, we're thinking about that thing. What if we do peace that way? When we're frustrated and we begin to get scriptures on peace, everything I'm wrong, I'm reading about peace. I'm reading about healing. I'm reading about anxiety. I'm reading about worry. I'm getting scriptures on that. What happens if we begin to starve fear with faith? Faith cometh by hearing, hearing the word of God. What happens if we start getting crazy about our faith walk? We get crazy about our lifestyle, our relationship with the Lord, to where I'll let nothing separate me from the love of God. I'm going to get this word, everything I'm dealing with. Devil, you want to fight? We're going to fight. Because I realize I'm not fighting flesh and blood. It ain't people I'm fighting. My battle is fighting principalities and powers. Wickedness in high places. This is what's trying to take you out. The Bible, I was even reading in my own time how Daniel talked about how the enemy wants to wear out the saints. He want to wear us out. He want to break us down. He wants to strip our joy. If I can take your joy, I can take your strength. The, the word says that, look, if you don't have any joy, you have no strength. If I can take your joy and shut you up, then that's your power right there. You can't do nothing because your joy is gone. If I can take your joy, marriage is in because there's no more joy. Jesus. People live jobs because they don't like what they're doing anymore. That's joy. Jesus. People leave home because they don't like where they're at anymore. That's joy. Jesus Christ. You took in my joy. I don't, I don't love you anymore. No, no, no. It's not even about love all the time. All it's right. about joy. Come on now. Because you took my strength away. There's no more joy in what I do. Jesus. If you really love what you do, you'll do it for free. But when we get to the place where we start, where we start being that the joy has been taken from us, yeah. that means I can't stomach what I'm doing anymore. Mm -hmm. It's draining me more than it's supposed to be helping me. Yeah. All right, Romans 6 and 11. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. So Romans 6 and 11, and I'm going to turn to it in my little amplified as well. I'm going to have my little screens and all that beautiful technology. But right now, I thank God for what it is. Praise amen, God. Amen. So Romans 6, 11, and we're going to read down to 13, and we're going to stop there. Unless Holy Spirit says otherwise. So Romans 6, 11, it says, Likewise, reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Let me go over to my notes. That word reckon means... Um, and I like the way our writer Paul did this here because he began to, one thing I know that Paul was a student. He was a, he was a student, period, because this was accounting. And this is what reckoning means. Reckon is an accounting word in business. If you ever dealt with an accountant, uh, this word means, uh, reckon means to settle accounts. 
to make calculations or to make a judge. Here is what Paul was saying through this word in 6 and 11 with the word reckoned. He said it is forever dead. All right. I reckon that old man is forever dead. But here it is. There's a choice. Because it can be resurrected if we so choose to. Every decision that we have to make, everything we go to, that dead man is dying as long as we keep it dead. But he is ready to knock on that door. I heard, I believe it was Joel Osteen, said that he was in traffic and thought dead man was just, oh yes, I'm alive in Christ. Someone cut him off. Whoa, where'd you come from? He said, I don't want to wave, hallelujah, I want to do something else. He was like, where did you come from? I was here all along, I'm waiting for an opportunity. So do we not know that every day has to be a walk? Every day we have to fight this flesh. Every day the flesh is trying to, you ain't got to take that peace pill today. You ain't got to take that day. Won't you let your hair down? You know, well, you ain't got to do that today. Don't, don't be in peace today. Because Sally needs you to tell her the truth. She needs to, she need her to tell you. She needs to be put in her place. You need to check her. Don't, don't take the peace today. Leave, leave your Holy Ghost at home. Amen. We can't leave it at home. We need God with us everywhere. So here is 6 and 11 again. And we'll talk a little bit and then we're about done. So 6 and 11 says, Likewise, reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin. I am dead. No longer have the desire to go back to that. But alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Now, here is the part, because the question was from 1633, now, God, show me how to be in Christ. Simple. But this is something we have to know how to be in Christ. And this is where we found 6, 11, 12, and 13. These three verses. Number one, we determine that I am dead to sin. I no longer have a desire for that any longer. Now, as we say often, we ain't going to tell you it's going to happen overnight. Sometimes you got to keep telling yourself, look, I done erred, I done failed 10, 11, 12, 13, a lot of times. <laughs> so many times we stop counting. But I am dead to sin in Jesus' name. I am dead. Sally, get up. I know I had to knock you out, but I'm dead to sin. I'm going, I'm going to do better. Come on, get up. You pushed me. Get on up. Every day. Let me tell you, when I had to forgive someone, a particular individual, do you not know that I had to encourage myself every day when those thoughts came and say, you remember that hmm, yeah. did to you? Yeah. You remember what Pookie did to you? Jeez. You remember what that Negro did to you? I forgive them again. Yes, Lord. Forgive no me. devil. I don't want, I ain't going back to the old ways. <laughs> and, and, and then, and I, okay, I got the big one. Praise God. Yes, Lord. Get up day two. Hear something? Smell something that sound like them? Okay. I forgive them yes, again. Lord. I'm not taking it back, devil. I forgive them. Yes. Yes. I had to continue walking in yes. that thing. Well, yeah, true. Yes. I looked up from months of doing that. Yes, Lord. I said it didn't happen overnight. Yeah. Don't judge me. Yeah, Some of y'all still ain't even started the path yet. <laughs> and I finally looked up, and the Lord said, it was uh, Thanksgiving. The Lord said, I want you to write them a letter. Okay, I want you. To, I want you to apologize. I'm sorry. We're talking about the same person. Yes. <laughs> well, you did recall what I said they did to me, right? Right. right Lord. No, no. You're gonna apologize. I said why? Because you need to be free. I ain't going there. I'm like, okay. How you gonna show the love of Christ and you can't forgive? So I said, well, what I need to apologize for because I ain't even do nothing. Y'all know how we can be a bunch of big babies yes, sometimes. Yes. We can be kids. Come on. We can be 60, 70 years old and still be kids in certain areas when we don't want to do something. True. We got all kinds of excuses why we don't need to do it. Well, you ain't see what they did. You ain't see how you saw how she looked at me. Oh, no. You saw what they did. And you want me to do what? He said, I want you to write a letter and ask them to forgive you. Because you held grudges and hate in your heart. And he said, you know what? I'm not going to hear your prayer until you do it. All right. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. 
Clean yourself up. Because you're Clean carrying up. what they did and now it has become a God. Mm. Because we spend more time thinking about what they did versus thinking about praising God. <laughs> We've made that a statue. Some of us got statues in our house right now of what of situations. When something happened, they remind us of what they did. You remember 1980? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. You could be having just a good day, Amen. and you pass by the same location on where you was hurt at, and all of a sudden, they go that statue again. Yeah, I am right now. You don't stop worshiping God. I remember when. <laughs> all right. I wonder if they fail yet. Modern things. Modern things. Lord, did you get vengeance yet? Jesus, Jesus. We don't. We don't stop worshiping God. Trying to help Him get vengeance, where you know they ain't go through yet. Do you not know that when God whoop somebody you won't know about all the time mm. and you got to be okay with that to give that debt account settled accounts closed reckoning means we're done the account is settled mm. whether you ask me for forgiveness or not it don't matter because this is bigger than you yes. Hallelujah. that means I'm forgiving you on faith right. without you even asking right. I made a decision not to let that thing hold me up any longer yes. Because we got to make a decision. We can't jump from the old man to the new man. <laughs> one minute we here, one minute we there. James talked about in our Sunday school lesson, a double-minded man mm -hmm. is unstable in all his ways. If we can just be stable with that alone, let's just deal with this. Come let's on. just start dealing with this stuff yes. and say, look, you're not worth my future. Yes. You're not worth where I'm trying to go at in God. Yes. I'm going to release you and say it's all good. Yes. I don't even need vengeance no more. You ain't got to apologize. It's cool. And I'm going to apologize to you. Yeah, if I need anything to offend you, I'm sorry. Hold the load on. Because guess what? We got to grow up in God. Amen. There's things God wants to do in our lives, but we are our own worst hinder. Right, Thank you, Jesus. We is. I'll do it. True. Thank you. So likewise in verse 11, 12, and 13, and we're done. Word now. Likewise reckon, close accounts, ye also yourselves to be dead to sin. I'm dead to sin, period. In Jesus' name. And every day I'm walking in that. Yeah. But alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Our desire of the old man wants to please self. Yeah. I'm going to say this because it made me feel good. Mm. Can I be honest? Yeah. There are times where flesh wins. Jesus. I'll just talk about me. Come on now. There's times where flesh wins. You may not cuss him out. But when you get finished saying what you're saying, cussing them out would probably been easy. <laughs> you know now, this and this and that. You know you could have. You in your flesh feeling good like, go, 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 get them, get them, get them. And the new man sitting there like, so that's what we're going to do, Becky? That's what we're going to do? What about new man in Christ Jesus? I, I, I joke about it, but I tell people, I say it's a whole advisory board in my head. And they be sitting at the little table making decisions like, no, we're not going to do that. And you got, you got saved, Michelle, trying to choke old man Michelle like, no, you're not going to say that. And they used to be fighting. I'm just sitting there like, okay, I can't say that. Okay, I can't do that. No. Okay. All right, God, I need your help. But that's what decisions be going on. In every decision we make, we're choosing ye this day. Whom we going to serve? It's comical, but it really be happening. It'd be a whole decision. Yeah. How I'm going to say that. And then sometimes we got a nerve to say, well, how can I say that to make my fish flesh feel good, but I don't get in trouble with God? <laughs> we be skimming and skimming. Well, I'm going to say this, and instead of saying, beep, 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 I'm going to say this. So I get the same effect. Because I want you to feel what I'm feeling, and your feelings ain't never did nothing good for you. Jesus, Jesus. That's what I'm just going to talk about me today. Amen. Flesh and feelings ain't never did nothing for me. But all of a sudden, we're studying catering to our feelings and our flesh. This on me right now, I just got to say it. I'm going to come and apologize later. I just need to say it. There you <laughs> We done caused a whole tornado, ripped up everything, the whole trailer park gone. And here we come, trying to come in with like we red cross. Come yeah. on, let's give you some water. Let's help you. We're going to revive you. People sitting there with cuts open and bruised and everything else. And I'm looking like, you caused all this, but you help us, Father. Hallelujah. Peace in Christ. It's a hard word. I told y'all this wasn't a shouting message, man. You want to shout. Earlier was the time to do this. This is 
a day of reckoning. Yes. This is a choosy this day. This is a woe unto me. Not shine the spotlight on you, but shine the spotlight on me, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Verse 12. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body, that ye should obey it in the lust thereof. Here it is. This is just like uh, um, the, the illustration that I was looking at was prisoners. Now, if a person has ever gone to prison, they will tell you there's a certain lifestyle that you must accustom yourself to quickly. And if it's not careful, it's almost like a person going to war. You're not in charge of your body, of your do's, your don'ts anymore. But what will happen is if you notice a person that has come out of prison or a person that has come out of war, their mindset don't come out immediately. They'll snap in a minute. Why? Because my mind is still at war. My mind is still in fight mode. I got to watch my back. I don't know what's going on or any of that. This is what God is trying to tell us. I have set you free. He has unloosed the shackles of prisons that have kept us bound. But until we accept that and walk through it, we're still bound. I know people right now, including myself, that used to be one. Jesus. To where I was free but still in prison. Amen. Jesus. Trapped in the mind, can't praise God, thinking about what I'm thinking, people thinking. Oh, oh, oh. Thinking about why she don't let me like that, what's going on, and who you is, and da 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 Let me Come check on, you real man. quick. Like, Come on. having a whole, I would have a whole movie oh, off of one thought. Yes. Yes. And it didn't even have to be that situation. Now I'm learning that it still comes, but I'm learning how to talk to myself. I say stop. We that's too much work. We're not gonna do that. Yeah. I've got to the place where I'm just gonna have to be dumb, yeah. and you just gotta tell me we got beef. <laughs> that's how this go wrong. Because I'm not gonna pretend that. Um, don't you see how she looking at you? That's too much work. If you got issues, you got my number. Call me. Let's talk. Let's work it out. Yeah. Let's be adults. But I'm not gonna be figuring out what's wrong with you. Why your face look like that? Da -da -da. If you wanna know, come ask me. Yeah. It's too much work. It's exhausting. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. So verse 12, it says, Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body, that ye should obey it in the lust thereof. Jesus. The example, again, there's one more story I must tell you, because again, it kind of relates to what we're going through. There was a king that I read about, and that king, um, his, him, him and his brother kind of fought. And what happened was, his revenge on his brother was, his brother was obese. And so he said, look, I'm going to put you in this door, and in this door is going to be unlocked. You can come out anytime you want to. But here's the trick. The door wasn't big enough for him to come out at the weight he was at. <laughs> so that means he had to lose weight in order to come out the door. Amen. And so his brother knew that he loved food more than he loved anything. So he said, look, anytime you want to come out and take the throne again, come on through. I ain't going to lock the door. Jesus. But he had to lose weight, discipline himself to get out of that building. Mm -hmm. This is what the enemy is banking on with us. Jesus. We're not going to put the work in to get where we need to be at. Jesus. Let me say it again because I know we had a couple things going on. I want to hit home. If you don't listen to nothing else, take this story and take it spiritually. In the door, I'm taking you Maybe you're 500 pounds. Mm -hmm. Put you in that door. Mm -hmm. I'm letting you know I got everything that belongs to you is on the other side of the door. Door not locked, window not locked. You come out anytime you want to. But you're going to have to put in work and defeat you to come out of this door. Come on, now. Come on. In order for you to defeat you, you got to come out of that door. And this is what the enemy banking on. You ain't going to fast. You ain't going to pray. You ain't going to do nothing. So I got you. Because your love for that food or your love for that thing is so great that you won't put in the work to come to the door. God, I'm going to see this. And that's what an enemy is banking on. When I saw this story, this is how it related to me. And I'm like, wow. There's many things that we'll do good in and then we'll stop. The progress will stop. Amen. Because we took in our members and the enemy know where we're weak at, so I'm going to keep it tight to you. Here's what his brother messed up doing. His brother kept sending what he knew his brother liked. And that would help him be obese. And they said, why you be so cruel to your brother? He can come out anytime he wants to. All he got to do is turn it down and say no. Jesus, Jesus. And his brother never made it out of that room. Wow. 
because his desire for the sweets or for the stuff was not as big as his desire to get his stuff back. Lord, I'm when I saw that, I was like, this is the y'all know our pictures now. This is what made sense to me. When I saw it, I'm like, oh, oh. And now I'm looking at my own life. What is it that God has on the other side of freedom? What is it that we keep taking that peace pill and throwing it away? I ain't going to take it today. Or we take that joy pill, I ain't going to take it today. Because that may make me, I, I want to do this. One thing about taking that particular diet pill we talked about, you can't eat what you want to. You got to follow what instructions it gives you. <laughs> this is the same way in God. You cannot do your own thing. Jesus. The Bible lets us know to have not any other gods before me. When we're doing it his way, it got to be his way. Because guess what? You shall have tribulation. These things will come. There's no doubt about it. But we got to choose peace. He said, I knew that you might have peace. I want you to have peace in me. But it is a choice. You can at any time take your ball and go home. At any time, you can say, I'm done. Woo! And when we do that, what we want from God is sitting on the other side waiting. So the Lord said, Michelle, did you really do everything I told you to do? Really, how did you come to me in prayer? Was your prayer bad? Did you come to me consecrated? How did you come to me? Is it really peace? Or are you frustrated? And I'm your last resort. How did you come to me? And I'm like, okay, that hurt. He said, because until you pass this, all your stuff is still waiting. I'm waiting for you to take that pill again because that means in, in that pill, the Bible lets us know in his word, you are not your own. You've been bought with a price. But we got to choose. I'm going to take this. I'm not going to spit it out. When it becomes hard, that means I pick up my will. I'm not going to choose to do it my other ways. I ain't going to take it because I'm going to do what I want to do today. No, no, no. I got to choose every day. I'm going to take this word of God in good times and in bad. We got to be married to this word. Yes. In good and in bad. Yes, in sickness yes. and in health. Yes. To death do us part on this earth. Yes. And we open up our eyes promoted in glory. Oh, Amen. We got to take it back. Yes. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Oh, God. God. Everything that God has for us is already on the other side of Jesus. us dying to ourselves. What is being in Christ? Being in Christ means I come to the end of me. Yeah, amen. No more I, but Christ that lives inside. Jesus. My last verse, last two verses, and we're done. Verse 12 says, let not sin therefore ring in your mortal bodies, that ye should obey it in the lust there." Um, let me read this out of my translation. We'll talk a little bit. And we're almost there. Verse 12 out of the God's Word translation says, Therefore, never let sin rule your physical body so that you obey its desires. Mm -hmm. That means there's work I got to do for Amen. me. I've been defeated every year around that time, around this time. Every time I go and do, I get right here and then I get stuck. It's time we got to take a real look at ourselves and say, I am the problem. Yes, yes. I've got to have accountability. God, I need your help in this area. I need your help in that area. Let me get the scripture and put the work in. Because I need to lose this unnecessary fleshly weight. Amen. Or whatever that thing is, whatever that works of the flesh is that you got to lose, I got to lose this. Yes. That means I got to die to myself. Verse 13. Neither yield your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourselves unto God as those that are alive from the dead. Again, we're dying to ourselves, our will. We become dead to us. The latter part of verse number 13, and your members as instruments of righteousness unto God. Let me read this out of my translation and, and give you my picture here, and then we'll be done. Verse 13 out of the God's word says, never offer any part of your body to sin's power. Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. No part of your body should ever be used to do any ungodly thing. Instead, offer yourselves to God as people who have come back from death and are now alive. Jesus. Offer all the parts of your body to God, 
use them to do everything that God approves of. Here's the example that I looked at as I was listening and I was doing my study and also listening to Holy Spirit. Here's the instruments. A good example. David. David used his hands and his hands got him promoted. He was a shepherd in the yeah. shepherd field. He did the dirty work of God and being a shepherd over the sheep. Yeah. His hands got him promoted. His eyes got him in trouble. Yeah. All right. okay. His hands got him promoted because he took the rock with the help of the Holy Spirit. Now still being in, in Christ now. Yes, yes. Or in God. He took that rock and threw it. He slayed the giant. Yeah. Slayed the lion. Yeah. Became king later on. But those eyes got him in trouble when he saw Bathsheba. Mm -hmm. And caused a man to lose his life. Yeah. Because I want that. He made a decision that I'm going to step out of Christ. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Number one, you ain't had no business there. Because oh. when, when the war's time is taking place, the king's supposed to be with the men fighting. Yeah. You step out of position, yeah. out of place, and use that same member, a different part of your member, to see. Jesus. And then put your mind to how to strategize on how to get that man killed. Jesus. To cover up the fact that you slept with his wife. So this is how we can take those same members when we make a decision that I'm no longer going to be in Christ. I, I'm taking a I'm taking break. Apostle mm. <laughs> Price preached the rest of the a while back. He said we take too many breaks. Yes. <laughs> we break it, but are we breaking because we're tired? We break it because of sin. We break it. We break it. I need a break. Jesus. I'm tired of serving God. I just, I just need to go on a vacation. Okay, you got Monday through Saturday. You really got to do it right. on the day that we're coming together together. Come on now. Amen. All this time. And you played this a year ago, so you ain't think a year ago that I need to watch out for this. And I'm not saying if they fall on a Sunday. I understand, but I'm, what I'm saying is we, got, we ain't fooling nobody. That's right. God sees the intents of our heart. Jesus. That's the point I'm making. You ain't here for me. Jesus. We ain't reading this word of God to please me, to please the apostle. This is about your own soul salvation. <laughs> and how are you going to know how strong you are in the Lord when you go through tribulation? The tribulation is the test. Hallelujah. James tells us, he said, look, you need to count it all joy. I'm done. You need to count it all joy when you go through different temptations. Amen. That means I've seen enough in you to allow you to go through this. All right. Jesus, I'm going to try you. I'm going to allow the enemy to even test you. Mm -hmm. I ain't got to test you. I know what I got. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. But I'm going to let you go through this. Come on. Just so you can see if you can handle it. Jesus. Jesus. You ain't think you can. I ain't no way I'll be able to handle this. Jesus. I ain't going to be able to go through that. And look at that. You look back and you don't went through it. I don't know how I came through that. Because you were so wrapped up in God. Amen. You were so wrapped up in his word. You looked up and God had them brought you through it. But if we're seeing with the natural eye, we're seeing too much. Yeah. The natural eye will scare us. Yes. But it's a spiritual eye that we got to look through. Yes. God, I'm looking yes. to you. Amen. Yeah, I know what's going on down here, but I choose to be in your peace. I choose peace in Christ. Thank you. I choose to rest. This is why Jesus can rest on a boat when the disciples was losing it. Mm. He said the same way they was on troubled waters and they were losing it. You can be in me in a troublous situation. And have peace. Amen. 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 I choose peace, peace. today. Peace. Yes. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus. Amen. Peace Amen. in Him. Amen. We're going to have peace in Christ. Amen. We're going back to our destinations. Amen. We're doing some reckoning. Amen. It's time to close some spiritual accounts. Amen. This account closed. Yes. This account closed in yes. Jesus' name. We ain't Amen. going back that way no more. Amen. 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 Goodbye, world. Stay no longer with you. Goodbye, pleasure of sin. Stay no longer with you. I made up my mind to go God's way for the rest of my life. Oh, I made up my mind to go God's way for the rest of my life. Goodbye, world. Goodbye.
going to prepare at this time to dismiss our online audience. Amen. Thank you, God, for them joining us by way of YouTube, by way of Facebook. Amen. We pray for the makers of each of those uh, social media platforms that we continue to have a place that we can share with the world that Jesus is Lord. Just to let our social media audience know that we do have given information on the screen. We are available for prayer 24 hours a day. That prayer information is as well on the screen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. As we're prepared at this time, amen.